Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to do my best to bring some praise thoughts each day this week. I'm trusting the Holy Spirit to direct my mind and help me present something that will brighten your day. I was fortunate to have a wonderful mother-in-law. She was what I'd call a quiet Christian. We knew all about her dedication to her church, how she worked so hard to contribute to the bazaars, the church dinners, and the quilting. Even though she worked full-time in retail, her hands were never without a project in them. We really didn't know the depth of her spirituality, though, until after she had passed away. Yes, she was all the wonderful things like loving and kind and generous and helpful and discreet and sober and all the things that would make you say she's a wonderful Christian lady, and she was. But to us, she was mum. She left behind some wonderful journals her treasured Bible that was all marked up, and several meditation books. One of those books that I found, and I kind of hung on to it for a while, was uh, called You're Only Old Once, and it was written by Catherine Brandt and published in 1977 by Augsburg Publishing Company. And so I may refer to it at some point, but not today. Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 and 26 from the Living Bible. So my counsel is, don't worry about things, food, drink, or clothes, for you already have life and a body, and they are far more important than what you eat or wear. Look at the birds. They don't worry about what to eat. They don't need to sow or reap or store up food, for your Heavenly Father feeds them, and you are far more valuable to Him than they are. This spring, I prayed earnestly that God would provide us with a bird nest that we could watch. And this was even before we knew that we were going to be spending a lot of time at home. But now that's a rather strange prayer, but I did pray for other things too, but this was, a, this was something I really earnestly prayed for. God was faithful and provided us with a mama robin who chose to build her nest on the windowsill of our living area. It was about six feet away from our our recliners where we regularly sit here and right in direct view all we had to turn, do was turn our heads and we could see what Mama Robin was doing on her nest. We were so blessed to be able to watch the proceedings from the planning of the nest where, where it would sit um, and that took some time that took about a week and uh, watched all the proceedings up until the fledging of two little chicks. And I learned more about birds than maybe I really want to know, but I learned it anyway. What a wonderful experience, and it was truly an answer to prayer. During that period of time, I was reminded of a song, His Eye is on the Sparrow, even though we got a robin and not a sparrow. That took me back to the wee church that I attended with my father when I was a young teenager. There was a man that attended as well. His name was Alfred, and he attended regularly and he contributed regularly. He was a resident at what we called the SAN, just outside of London, which was a facility dedicated to the treatment of tuberculosis. There were many people in iron lungs who lay there for years, not being able to do a thing for themselves. They had a mirror above their heads to help them have some vision of things around them. This particular man, though, wasn't in that situation, but he did only have a half of one lung. Now, I don't know how old Alfred was, but as a young teen, the white hair was probably enough to make, him, make me think that he was old. But I, like I kind of like the def definition of old that I found in the dictionary that says, old is exhibiting the characteristics of advanced life. So with that, it gives you a lot of latitude, I think, to draw your own picture. Alf was a beautiful example of living for Jesus. Even though he had half a lung, he would get up and sing as a solo, his eye is on the sparrow, from, and he'd sing it from the bottom of his heart. I now understand how difficult it must have been for him. 
He also worked diligently at the SAN to provide an in-house radio, um, radio program every day. And he worked from the, they had a studio right there in the SAN, and he went down every day and, and did an hour program of Christian music, some live, some recorded. And he did a, a devotional uh, as well. And uh, here was this old man, and in my estimation anyway, an old man, with serious physical issues, which were for sure, but it didn't stop him from proclaiming the word of God and praising him with gusto. Why should I be discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to be faithful to you even in old age, when our physical abilities are sometimes in decline. Help us to be ever mindful of the love you have for us, and when we see the birds of your creation, to remember that we will that you will provide for us an answer to all our needs. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you. Have a good day.